Hello everyone, welcome to William and the Magic Box. Today on our show, we're going to have Josh. Josh is from Australia. So let's see what Josh has to say. Enjoy the interview. Okay, hello Josh, how are you? Good, thank you. How are you going, William? Very well. Thanks so much for, for taking the time this evening for the interview. I know it's quite late in Australia right now. It's around 10 p.m.? 10 p.m. Wow. So tell me, how was your day today? Pretty good, thanks. Uh, I took the day off work. I've been sick the last week, so I ended up just going to the beach because it was nice weather. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just went for a bike ride and had a pretty good day. Yeah. So you're saying that you're not far from the beach? No, I've been uh, five minutes. Five minutes drive. How Very often close. do you go to the beach? Um, it's every day except for winter. <laughs> <laughs> so as much as possible. I see. Yeah. And which place are you from in Australia? So Adelaide. Adelaide, so it's down the bottom, South Australia. Adelaide. I see. So yeah. tell me something interesting about Adelaide, something interesting about the city. Um, it's known for being the city of churches because it's full of churches. Mm. Um, that's probably, there's not a lot. It's very small. It's, it's not as big as like Sydney or Melbourne, which you probably heard of. So it's more of like a, big country town kind of city country town yeah and that's the place where you were born and raised i was born here yes wow and all your family lived there as well all my family lived here i actually i lived in queensland for about four years and i moved back here about three years ago i see and what do you do for work for living josh right now I just work in retail so i work for a clothing brand um mm -hmm. i don't know if you heard of tommy hilfiger uh, yes, yes, of course. Yeah, you probably have. Yeah, so I work for them currently. I see. Okay, so through the join, I'm going to explore a little bit more about your job, about your life, and about your point All of right. view. Okay? okay, sure. So before we start our journey, we in the magic box. Uh, when I was checking your profile, there was a phrase there that got my attention. It says there, be who you were, always told not to be your authentic self. So yes. let's start the interview with this phrase. What this phrase means to you? Why is that in your profile? I guess it's important to me because uh, growing up, um, I couldn't be who I was because of family reasons, religious reasons. Um, so I kind of just feel like it's really important to just be who you really are because you can't live your life for other people. So yeah, that's one of the phrases that are important to me. And are you living your authentic self right, right now, nowadays? Most of the time, yeah. 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 <laughs> amazing, yeah. amazing. Yeah, when I saw the phrase that, I was like, okay, I need to ask him about that. Yeah, that's a good question. I didn't expect that one. Good question. <laughs> Josh, are you ready to go on a beautiful journey for your memories in life and share your point of views? Yeah. Yeah, amazing. Welcome to William and the Magic Box. So, this is my best. Okay, floor from the fun questions. I'm just gonna play a song now just for us to relax a bit before the first question. Okay, okay, let's do it. <laughs> before we start the game, during the join, if it comes up a question that you don't want to talk about some reason you don't want to answer, always can change. Okay, okay, I'll let you know. No worries. First question for you is if you could ask for a miracle, what that would be? A miracle, yes. <laughs> probably it's got to do with um i have some health issues going on um and yeah I, i'm getting diagnosed with autoimmune disease so i'm actually trying to heal that so yeah a miracle probably would be to heal my health conditions to be honest <laughs> can you talk a yeah. little bit about it can you explain a bit about it or not sure sure um yeah it's been going on for about four years um I'm in the process of seeing a specialist. I've been on a six month waiting list. So I'm mm -hmm. about to see them next month. Um, yeah, I was diagnosed with, um, they think it's inflammatory arthritis. Uh, yeah, and it can be genetic. And I have the gene, which is called HB, it's called HBLA27. And it's right. a gene that you can carry if you're more likely to develop autoimmune diseases. And I have the gene. So I've been dealing with that the last four years. 
And what's the side effects? What what does happen to you to to yeah? Um, to what... Sickness, uh, food allergies, mm -hmm. um, issues with my bones. It's a it's a lot. Yeah. But something that um, you kind of improving or something like a holocaust go up and down. Right now it's up and down. It happened up. It goes up and down. I see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But I'm still in the process of getting a proper diagnosis. It can take a lot of years to get a proper diagnosis. I see. Yeah. I'm sure you. I'm sure things gonna get right in the right moment. Yeah, I'm sure <laughs> I will. For sure. Next yeah. question. Next question for you is: What will be the title of your memoir? Well, title of my memoir. Hmm, probably, <laughs> maybe just my full name, Joshua and Madonna, yeah. Wow, so why, why would be the title of memoir, your full name? Um, I guess it would just sum up my whole life and I don't know, I feel like just my full name should, should, is enough, <laughs> I don't know, yeah. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Tell me something, Josh. When when you analyze yourself, when you think about yourself, what's the best part of being you? What's the best part of being Josh? Um, probably being a very understanding, a very caring person. Yeah. So yeah. that's the best part. Amazing. Ready for another one? Yes. <laughs> Let's do it. Next question. Okay. Before the next question, when I was checking your profile and your surname is Madonna, it's Which, it's something connected with the singer or it's really your no, surname? A lot of people think that that is my last name. So my dad is Italian and it's a, actually an Italian last name. Yeah. Wow, so Madonna, it's your surname, literally. It is. <laughs> it, it is. I'm sure people ask you a lot about that. <laughs> they do. They assume that, oh, you must... I do like Madonna the singer, but they assume like, I'm a super fan of my life. It's just my last name. So. Wow. And it's quite common in Australia, Madonna, the surname? It's not common at all, and it's not very common in Italy either. It's just a rare, rare last name. Yeah. I see. Amazing. You just made my yeah, day it's now. Pretty cool. Again? It's pretty cool. Yes, absolutely. You know, when I was checking your profile, I thought maybe you're a big fan of Madonna. Maybe you are, you know, those massive fans. So sometimes they just use a surname and nickname. Of course. And I was like, okay, I need to ask him that. <laughs> That's amazing. I, do like, I do like her songs, for sure. <laughs> amazing. Next question for you is, who in your family you trade place with if you could and why? In my family? Yeah, if you could trade place, let's say, for 24 hours, who that would be and why? Hmm. Probably my nana. Tell me why. <laughs> that sounds strange. Um, uh, because she's, I don't know, like she's, um, she's in her 90s, but she's done really well for herself. She's lived a very long life and she's still really healthy and with it. So she, I'd hope to be like her at, my, at, at her age. So I'd say her, yeah. Wow. And who in your yeah. family are more close to? Probably my auntie, my, one of my aunties is probably, and one of my cousins, yeah. I see. Do you have a big family, Josh? Um, I do, but a lot of people passed away, so it's a bit smaller these days. I see. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Next question. Let's do it. Okay. Hey, Josh from Australia. Next question is, what is the happiest day in your life so far and why you consider that? day in my life so far that's a hard that's a tough one um happiest day maybe when i got engaged to i guess when this is a long time ago that was probably one of the top days i don't know if it's the happiest but it was one of the top days in my life in yeah. a relationship right now or you're single right now no i'm single <laughs> I see. It's Same day. For, for three years. Mm -hmm. I see. Tell me, people watching the interview right now, they would like to go on a date with you. What this person must have and what this person must not have? 
they must have an understanding, empathetic like nature and must be friendly and open. Mm-hmm. Uh, must not have, I guess, someone who's really into partying. I just don't party anymore. So like I'm looking for more of a quieter lifestyle. So yeah. Um, what's, your star, what's your star sign? Pisces, Aries, Cusp. Hmm. March? March the 19th. Yeah. My mom's, my, my mom's birthday is March as well, so Pisces. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, very, yeah. very emotional. Very emotional and very kind as well. Like the kindest hearts. They have the kindest hearts, for sure. Yeah. Next question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think it's, uh, you know, all of us, we have our temper and we also have like our, you know, way of being kind as well. Yeah. Next question. Before the next question, tell me um, how is being gay in Adelaide? How is, um, uh, you know, how is the community over there? Pretty normal. Um... It's pretty accepted. The community is not that big just because it's a smaller city, mm-hmm. but it's it's not an issue. So it's pretty normalized. And for you, how was growing up as a gay boy in your experience? Well, I didn't come out until I was about 21. I was in the closet before that. Um, but when I came out, I was mostly accepted from most people. So it wasn't too bad considering it wasn't too bad. And when you came out, did something happen or just felt like, okay, I just want to be my true self from now on. I'm just going to, you know, live my life. Something did happen, but I think I want to keep that private for now. I um, see. But it was also a bit of both. Like, it was time. Time to come out. But yeah. I see. Okay. Next question is, what makes you most uncomfortable about yourself? Oh, probably that I get socially awkward and have anxiety. <laughs> That's probably <laughs> the main one. And always being this way, you're always kind of just, always. you know. Yeah. Unless I'm really comfortable, otherwise I'm a bit, bit And down. And when you, when you need to face the situation, when you need to kind of, you know, step out of the, 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 the your, let's say, comfort zone or, uh, you know, how, how do you do that? There's a mechanism that you use to get yourself in a different place. I probably just like push myself and just give myself a pep talk and just say like what's the worst that can happen and just yeah just push myself good very good mm. next question josh let's do it next question is tell me a negative thing that happened to you that came out as a positive thing in the end uh i'd say <laughs> Maybe going through my breakup um, it taught me a lot about myself and about relationships and it helped me grow as a person. So I'd say that. And tell me, um, for you, do you think love, um, you know, sometimes you meet people, um, you know, you think like, okay, that's the love of my life. That's how do uh-huh, you see that? That. Do you think sometimes people, they meet each other in the wrong time? Hmm. Not necessarily. I think maybe just they meet. Maybe some things aren't meant to be long term. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't think. I think everything happens for a reason. I believe yeah. as well. And what's the yeah. meaning of love for you? Hmm. I think I'm still trying to figure that out. <laughs> I think I might take my whole life to figure it out. But I think being understanding of someone is. I don't know. I, I haven't really figured that out yet, to be honest. So, yeah, I'm still trying to understand. <laughs> Absolutely. And do you yeah. believe that different kinds of love? Yeah, yes, definitely. How do you see that? Um, you can have platonic love, you know, love for your parents, your children, best friend, um, different relationships that you've had. So, yeah, all types. Yeah, I believe as well. And I think love, you know, it's such a a, a wild, like different, uh, you know what I mean? It can go the big different direction, but I think all of them, 
you know when you are in love it's such a butterfly nice feeling that you yes, have in the beginning. yeah at the beginning <laughs> it's you know I, I totally believe as well a different kind of love it's just when you have those genuine feeling that's the when you say okay that's what i call love yeah, yeah. strong feeling and it can be difficult as well and hard and painful you know it's uh, but it comes with the package yeah that's life isn't it it's just about just life absolutely yeah. next question josh let's do it what's the time over there can i ask you a question sure so now in london it's five past two p.m sunday afternoon Oh, okay. And wow. for you, it's uh, uh, five past eleven or five past ten? Uh, I think it's around yeah, around ten, quarter past ten or something. Yeah. Do you consider yourself to be more a day or night person? Day, night time. I used to be night to night person. Now I'm day daytime. I see. Yeah. Right. Next question is: How would you describe a perfect friendship? Honesty, I'd say just honesty and respect is a perfect friendship. And your best friends, they live as well in Adelaide or not? Yes, and one of my other best friends lives in Perth, which is on the side of the country. Haven't seen her for about three years, but we stay in touch all the time. So, yeah, I've got friends all over. And what's the biggest difference between you and best, your best friends and the biggest similarity? Um... The biggest difference is I don't drink alcohol at the moment, going for a save, but not drinking or anything. One of my best friends drinks every day. So that's like a big difference. Um, similarities, I guess we both have good hearts and we both have each other's back. So we really support each other in life. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Next question, Josh. Let's do it. Before the next one, tell me um, if I would come to, you know, I've never been to Australia before. Yeah, I've never been to Australia. Um, if I would come for the first time in Australia, you know, people, they tend to go to Sydney, to Melbourne, you know, like the, the postcards of Australia. But for you, in your opinion, being Australian, what do you think, uh, besides those main places in Australia, what is the place that um, it's a must, people they should explore more, or people they should go to visit more? What do you think, in your opinion? Uh, Queensland. I'd say Queensland, like Gold Coast, Brisbane, um, even the top of Australia, Darwin. There's many places apart from Sydney and Melbourne. But and how I, I personally like Queensland because I, I used to live there. So. And Queensland is far away from Adelaide or not? Yeah, it's 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 far away. Yeah, it's pretty far. I see. And how far are you from Sydney or Melbourne? Um, Sydney, sorry, Melbourne's closer. So Melbourne's only about an eight hour drive, mm -hmm. um, in the car, like in the plane, it's only about an hour and a half. And then Sydney's further. Sydney is about a couple hours in the plane. So it's further, but it's not that far considering. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Next question for you is, do you think your priorities have changed since you were younger? A hundred percent. Tell me how. Yes. Oh, and I couldn't even begin to, to describe, I'd say like what's important to me, what I value, um, how I see myself, pretty much everything. See. Okay. Three questions left for you, Josh. Let's do it. Okay. Next question is, what makes you most proud? Um... Probably that I'm very resilient and I never really give up. So I'm pretty proud of that in myself. Yeah. And you always have this mindset, this way of approaching life? Yeah, since birth, I'd say. Yep. Wow. And when you think about your childhood, what's the best memory that comes to your mind? Best memory, I'd say we used to go camping a lot and fishing with my parents and used to always be out in the bush. They we call it the bush here, the Riverland. Yeah, just growing up and doing that and being out outside in nature, that was probably the, the best memories. Yeah. Oh, good. Two questions yeah. left. Let's okay. get Next question is, 
If you could change something in yourself or about yourself, what that would be and why? Probably not being um, so stuck in my head. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably change that. Like overthinking? Yeah. Welcome to the club, I'm the same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes, sometimes can drain you, can it? Like, my goodness, you, you find yourself, you know, in this way yeah, of worrying, overthinking, analyzing too much. And one point you feel drained. You feel like, oh my goodness, how can I put yeah. myself in that? Um, I wish state I could of change. Just if I could be opposite to that, I would. But yeah, I'm the same as it takes time and I'm, I, I agree with you and sometimes what I do as well sometimes I just try to distract myself and when I find myself in that situation I just go like okay you are thinking too much now let's let's do something else let's focus something else because it can take a lot of your energy definitely I've been there before cool. ready for the last one yeah let's go last one last question But before the last question, Josh, you know those two years uh, and a half that the world went upside down because of the COVID yes. crisis, yeah? Uh, for you personally, what's the biggest positive impact that brought to your personal life during that time? Positive? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I get, uh, maybe spending, probably spending more time in nature. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess that, that, that would have to be it. Yeah. Okay, last question is, which movie had a big influence on you? Hmm, the, I have a few favorites growing up. Um, there was a movie called The Faculty. It's just like a sci-fi uh, thriller. It's actually American, um, came out in the 90s. Uh, it was just a very out there, like, out there topic, like aliens and all that kind of thing. Um, that was just one of my favorite movies. I always used to watch it growing up. Um, but yeah, I don't know if it had an impact, but it was, I have fond memories of watching the movie and I probably still watch it to this day. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's not, it's not the end yet. Let's play now the word association game. Okay. I'm going to give away some words. Just tell one word that comes to your mind. Quick thinking. Okay. Okay. One word for life. Chaotic. Money. Freedom. Family. Uh, chaos. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> One word for love. Maybe one for love, let's see. Happiness. Sex. Uh Joy. Okay. Politics. Hmm. Probably, uh, maybe like boring. Okay. Re <laughs> religion. Religion. Um, religion. I'd say corruption. Okay. <laughs> Friendship. Yeah. Friendship. Oh, friendship. Um, loyalty. Desire. Uh, passion. Regret. 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 Sadness. Okay. Success. Uh, fulfillment. One word for wish. Which? Wish, wish. Oh, wish. Okay. Um, excitement. Okay. Happiness. Happiness. Uh, let's see. I'd say just joy, which is pretty much the same thing. Okay. One word for Adelaide. Adelaide. Hmm. City of. Hmm. It's Adelaide. It's Adelaide or Adelaine? Adelaide. Adelaide. Yeah. I see. Okay, so one word for Adelaide. Probably churches, because it's a city for churches. 
Wow, I, I, I literally didn't know that. So I find quite interesting. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's really, yeah. Interesting. Okay, the last one now, Australia, one word. Hmm. Yeah. I'd probably just say massive because it's a huge country. So massive. Amazing. <laughs> Let's yeah. pretend I'm going to meet your best friend for a coffee and I'm going to ask your best friend, what is the most beautiful thing about Josh and what's something that he still needs to work on to improve on? What's your best friend would say about you? Probably probably my caring heart and something I need to work on. Um, probably not being so distracted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's play now Josh in the magic box and you can ask me a question. Hey Josh from Australia, you can ask me a question now. Okay. Um, hmm. Do you want a family one day of your own? If I would have a family on, on, one day okay. on my own? Yeah. yeah. Good Do you want question. your own family? Yeah. Good yeah. question. I love the question, Josh. And I'll tell you, I would love to become a dad one day. I literally would love to, you know, to have a family, to have a partner where, you know, we could share a family, you know, maybe some kids and, uh, you know, settle down. You know, those, when you picture about family. Yeah, I, I picture and, that too. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So I, 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 when, you, when you think about having a family, I just think about, you know, have, have some kids around, running around the house and, uh, enjoy like a Sunday, you know, enjoy some time, like quality time. So yeah, I would love to have a family on my own. I would love to raise, you know, raise a child or raise some, raise some kids and be able to, to have, to enjoy, a, you know what I mean, as a family means. I know it's family, uh, the, the, the word family can be very broad, can be very different because I understand as well, family is not just skies, uh, you know, beauty, beauty, there is always, a, there's a lot of, um, a lot of, um, let's say, I would say negativity, but there's always a lot of uh, negative things as well that, you know, when you talk about family. And I can yeah. tell that because when you think about, as I said, I'd love to have a family, you know, raising a child or, you know, having at some time together with a partner. But I understand it can be challenging as well, can be, it's not always, always a blue sky, beautiful stars, you know what I mean? Flowers everywhere. There's a lot of thunderstorms, thunderstorms yes. as well, a lot of there things. Is. And sometimes not expecting that. So I understand. But even though knowing that, I'd love to to take the challenge, you know, to take, okay, let's start a family. Let's raise a child. Let's, um, let's bring up something nice and, you uh, know, and face the challenge, you know, in a, in a positive way, understanding as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, and I, I, I'm aware of it. That's not always, you know, beautiful skies, but even though I'd love to, I'd love to raise, to have a family to, you know what I mean? To pass out a lot of, you know, joy and uh, happiness to to children. So yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, maybe one day anything's possible. Absolutely, anything's possible. I know, but it's funny you ask me that because it, uh, when I was a teenager, like already, I was already thinking about that. It's like, oh, I wish one day I can have a family, you know? And um, again, never know, it can happen like in the blink of eye, sometimes, you know, life take us in a direction that you're not expecting, you know, surprises with some, a lot of things. So, yeah, it would be nice to to raise a family. Maybe, maybe the partner, the, my partner is watching this interview right now and maybe going to be with yeah. me, you know? Who knows? Who knows? Josh, did you enjoy the interview? I did. Thank you. I didn't know what to expect. It was, it was a cool experience. So thank you for um, reaching out. I'm thank you so much. Thank you so much. I know you've been through a, a few tough times. You've been trying to do the interview and I appreciate that you took the time for the interview. I really appreciate that. And uh, we show the best for you, you know, to find, you. you know, to find um, the, the still of being expert in now regarding, you know, this um, thing that you're having now in your life. And I'm sure yeah. one point is going to come and you're going to kind of find the right direction. Things going to get right for sure. I, I but, think so. I'm sure. Before you go, if you can share a positive message or anything that you live by. Um, I'd say just be yourself and try not to be too scared of what life throws at you because most people are stronger than what they realize.
Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Thanks so much and have a good night. You can sleep yeah. properly now. You too. Talk soon. Have a great one. Thanks, William. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. So, did you like the show? Don't forget to give a like, to share it, and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to be part of the show as well, first, subscribe to our channel, and after that, just go to our website, www.williamandthemagicbox.com and send us a request saying why would you like to be part of the show. And I'll see you there. Bye-bye. See you next time.